Again, he owns several businesses most of which are restaurants. JYN is a culinary art enthusiast and is very particular about the food sold in his restaurants. He spends hours tasting dishes served by famous chefs to make them perfect through the years. He has developed a unique talent where he can tell what ingredients a dish is made of just by smelling it. One day he goes to a five-star hotel that he is looking to buy the first dish he has served is the famous beef wellington which is a specialty of the head chef Jin tries a bite and spits it out saying that the type of mushroom used in the dish is wrong likewise he has served a plethora of different dishes all of which are the chef specials however each of them has one drawback or another that dissatisfies him. By the end of the hour the head chef runs out of ideas and feels helpless the staff also has no clue how to impress someone as picky as Jen this is when we are introduced to a young chef named Shong Nan although she is just an intern her mastery of worldwide culinary styles is impeccable and she is soon to be promoted because of her talent even though they have only 20 minutes left before JYN leaves. Shang Yun takes the challenge to make him something he likes none of the staff members think she can pull it off but right after 20 minutes JYN has a new dish on his table when he smells the first whiff of the food his eyes open wide he acknowledges it as the special Romani dish named spaghetti elastriga JYN can even tell that the cook is a woman because the dish is passed down to females of Romani origin. The spices must be very carefully measured because it is a traditional dish. That doesn't allow any personal spin on it Shang Nan has made it exactly how it is supposed to be which gains Jen's appreciation he cleans the plate dry and decides to stay at the hotel for a few days to taste more of her dishes the manager tells Shang Nan about JYN's comment making her realize that he has a vast knowledge of food she takes it as a challenge and is ready to blow his mind with her cooking Shang Nan is also dating the restaurant's general manager. He takes advantage of her position and makes her cook food for him even on the day she is busy one afternoon after enjoying everything she made for him he reveals that he wants to break up because she is too skinny for his liking Shang Nan is heartbroken but she knows there's no point in arguing later that day JYN is on his way out when he notices her sitting on his car's hood he doesn't recognize her as the chef since he's never seen her face. Shang Nan thinks the car belongs to her ex-boyfriend and scratches it to teach him a lesson when JYN calls her out she realizes she came to the wrong floor she quickly apologizes and promises to paint it like new at night Shang Nan gets drunk and climbs on the roof at the same time JYN is making ramen in his room he believes that even the two minute noodle is a difficult dish to make since one has to measure the ingredients and time precisely just when he is about to take a bite. Someone falls on his balcony it is none other than the drunk Shang Nan who has fallen from the roof when she refuses to go out JYN puts her into a suitcase and keeps her inside the elevator she is found by two staff members who go into a frenzy assuming that she is a dead body in the next scene JYN is locked inside a cell with other criminals Shang Nan is outside explaining what happened to the policeman while later JYN's assistant arrives and bails him out. Jin hopes to never meet Shang Nan again but they cross paths the very next day Shang Nan is helping some kids when she accidentally touches a beehive the bees attack Jin making his face swell having had enough of her he gives her a watch that will alert him if she is near him Shang Nan promises to run away as soon as she hears the alarm starting the following day JYN orders several dishes to test the chef's talent Shang Nan impresses him with every single dish. But JYN is still unaware that she is the same girl he wants to stay away from with time he starts ordering food that is not even on the menu Shang Yun works until midnight and is very tired but Jin doesn't show signs of exhaustion hence she puts squid ink on one of the dishes signifying that she is running away JYN understands the message and stops ordering food for the night he also sends her a letter asking her to be a good opponent instead of running away. The following day JYN has to appear in an interview the interviewer asks him questions about the suitcase scandal making him uncomfortable at the same time Shang Nan finds out the picky client is none other than the same guy she has to stay away from scared that her watch will ring she tries to run but falls into the swimming pool for the additional meal JYN wants Shang Nan to showcase her creativity instead of the name of the dishes he sends her three themes that she is free to interpret. However she likes the themes are a time a place and a moment for the first theme Chang Nan makes extremely spicy seafood indicating summertime JYN has a hard time eating anything spicy but is happy that she nailed the theme the second one is the place in this dish JYN can smell rosemary which reminds him of a lighthouse by the sea he realizes it is a depiction of Shanghai then for the last dish. She makes pork with matcha seasoning that JYN associates with the Japanese tea ceremony. 
he is beyond impressed by Shang Nan's talent while Shang Nan is impressed that he could figure out exactly what she was trying to portray with each dish for the dessert she requests to make an original dish it is a sweet cake made up of ingredients that are typically from the US Canada and the UK these are the three places that JYN has lived in over the years. So he understands that it represents him however there is a truffle on the side that takes him by surprise he asks the waiter to bring the chef so she can explain its meaning personally afraid to face him Shang Nan sends the head chef outside with her message he reveals that the truffle grows underground and eats everything around it to maintain its power Shang Nan believes Jen is like a truffle which is why she made it JYN refuses to believe the head chef and goes looking for Shang Nan but she runs away before he finds her a while later they bump into each other in the bathroom JYN smells the scent of food from her and recognizes her as the chef who has been cooking for him the following day at work he turns off his watch and catches her cooking in the restaurant's kitchen Shang Nan has to reluctantly admit that she is his chef she also affirms that the truffle was to symbolize his arrogance. JYN gives it a thought and praises her for understanding him better than he understands himself later. He is in his room when he gets a call from his father Mr. Liu the man is so business oriented that he frequently fails to be a father to Jen Liu urges him to return to work as he has spent a lot of time in a single hotel the next morning JYN calls the room service to order his first meal of the day however he is told Shang Nan is on sick leave not wanting to eat food cooked by anyone else. He goes straight to her apartment he has even brought all the necessary ingredients so she can make the dish that he wants her to her home is messy but Jin declutters and sets himself a table while she cooks Shang Nan is still weirded out by his appearance but she sits down with him to eat to her surprise he asks her to eat in the kitchen because he prefers eating alone she curses him for being arrogant before doing is told when she comes out. A while later she finds JYN taking a nap on her couch he has a hard time falling asleep anywhere else but for some reason her couch is very comfortable JYN wakes up hours later and finds Shang Nan sleeping on her bed the next day he comes again and makes her cook a different dish after eating he falls asleep again on the third day. He comes with a sheet to cover the couch to make it more comfortable as the days pass he starts bringing pajamas and his personal belongings. All this time Shang Nan can hardly fall asleep because of his snoring and has a hard time at work because of it one afternoon JYN allows her to eat with him and the two enjoy a long meal together they also eat blowfish for the first time unaware that it makes people high soon the two feel its effects and hallucinate that it is raining they stay under an umbrella even when indoors and talk about several things that make no sense a while later. They go out for a walk still thinking that it is raining when the weather is completely dry then they end up inside a bus where JYN's high wears off he realizes that people are looking at him and asks Shang Nan to put the umbrella down she doesn't listen to him still affected by the high by the end of the night JYN brings her home and tucks her in cut to two days later Shang Nan hasn't seen him since they last ate together. He has also checked out of the hotel which worries her. Deciding to check up on him she arrives at his home to her surprise he is enjoying a meal made by his personal chef of seven years the women instantly see each other as rivals and try to prove how important they are to Jin in the end an infuriated Shang Nan storms off in anger the next day the other chef comes to meet Shang Nan at work and asks her to be an assistant chef for JYN Shang Nan refuses asking her to go away at night JYN comes to her apartment to apologize but drives away at the last minute he has never felt close to anyone in his life other than Shang Nan which is why he is scared of losing her but he doesn't understand that it is love and he pulls away he goes to the restaurant the next day and fires all the kitchen employees he has decided to buy the hotel but since it doesn't live up to their standard management wise their company has decided to use it for something else. JYN tries to talk to Shang Nan but she doesn't want to listen to a word he has to say during dinner JYN asks his chef to join him she is surprised because over the course of seven years he has never asked her to eat she reveals that she only made one portion like she always does after she leaves JYN gets a message from her saying that she cannot be more than a personal chef to him JYN has to catch a flight in a few hours he wants to see Shang Nan before leaving but decides against it. In the next scene he is with his father who is disappointed in him for letting his personal interests get in the way of business they have a meal together and JYN asks Mr. Liu if he has ever been in love with someone his father answers that he doesn't indulge in anything that doesn't support his business at this moment JYN registers he doesn't want to be like his father he takes the next flight to Shanghai to meet Shang Nan again. 
Meanwhile she is about to sell the watch he gave her long ago suddenly it starts to ring indicating his presence Shangnan sees him on the other side of the road and promptly gets in a taxi she doesn't want to face him or talk to him JYN on the other hand is stubborn he follows the taxi and ends up in a crowded market upon taking the watch signal he finds Shangnan's dog with it then the dog brings him to a place where Shangnan has locked herself inside. She refuses to talk to him, but her interest peaks when he mentions that she is the only friend he has had in life he confesses his love and asks her to come outside Shangnan even makes him say that she is the sexiest person in the world after the interaction they go to her apartment building but JYN brings her to a different apartment because it has a better view of the sky the movie ends as they watch the sunset together the moral of this creepy story is that as long as you're rich you will literally always get your way this brings us to the end of the movie, I hope you do like it. And please do like and subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications icon for more videos like this, as we going to be bringing you more of your favorite movies. Thanks for watching and see you soon.